Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I want to talk to you today about forgiveness. So we are in a season where God is calling for all of his God ordained spouses who are standing, you know, uh, for their prodigal spouse to come back or just for God to just restore this love story. God is calling for all of us to move into a space of forgiveness. Now, we all know that forgiveness is a decision we make, right? But he don't want you to just 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 make the decision to forgive. We got to get to a place where we are now letting go of the hurt and pain. He wants you to let go of what happened, what was done to you, what was said about you, things of these natures, okay? Because we can forgive, right? We can say, it's easy to say out, say out of our mouth, I forgive, such and such, but yet we're still holding on to the hurt and pain. We're still walking around, you know, remembering what, you know, the things that happened to us in our past. And so God doesn't want, he doesn't want his children operating this way. He is calling for us to not only forgive, but also let go of the hurt and pain. And he also want us to begin to shift out of the victim mindset and begin to start seeing yourself as the one who has the victory because think about it you know yes you know what was done to you it hurt it probably wasn't fair you know it was the work of the enemy let's just call it what it is right but here's the thing god brought you out of it it didn't affect you the way how it was supposed to affect you, right? You still are in your right mind. Some of the things that you have experienced in your life, okay, it should have taken you out of here. You are not supposed to be in your right mind, but because God's hand was on you, because God kept you, he, he said, listen, the attacks may come, but I'm not going to allow it to affect you, right? And this is why he's calling for all of us, including myself, to move into a space of not only forgiveness, but also letting it go, okay? And then think about it this way, because if you don't forgive, when God restores this, because it's going to happen, okay? Nothing is impossible with God. He's, he already told you that he's doing a new thing, not only in you, but also in your God-ordained spouse and also in this situation. So when God restores this and bring it back around full circle, he don't want you to, you know, miss out on all of what he is doing. Because when we... When we say out of our mouth, I forgive this individual, but yet we're still holding on to the hurt and pain. And then when we are around the individual, now we now we have our guard up. Now, you know, we can't fully trust. Now we are holding back, right? You know, we can't fully embrace all of, you know, what God has done, you know, in this particular situation, right? And here, and I'm going to tell you exactly what the Lord said to me. I'm going to speak it to you because... For some of you, you have been hurt. Just that's all you know. Like that, that's your history. That's your past, right? Just hurt and pain, rejection upon rejection, always being overlooked, you know, left for dead, mistreated, abused, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right. And so another reason why God is calling for forgiveness is because number one, He wanna surprise you. Listen, He wanna surprise you, He wanna show out like never before. But He also wanna show you, okay, it's it's almost I interpret it as a corrective experience, right? He wants to correct all of that hurt and pain that happened to you in your past. He want to give you a true love. He want to give you a love that causes you to know that this is God. It got to be God. For this individual to love me this way, for this individual to come back and treat me better than I ever been treated, this is God, right? And so again, he's calling for all of us to move into a space of forgiveness and also letting go of the hurt and pain because better is coming, okay? Better is coming, is happening right now, okay? Get ready. Do not miss your opportunity. Uh, to step into it, okay? Better is coming. Let go of that victim uh, mentality and just take on victory. Tell yourself, I have the victory. Victory is mine, okay? I'm coming out bigger and better and stronger, right? Better is coming. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care.